what will happen December the 12th for BTT holders. Welcome back guys, it's Crypto Rocco from Rockstar Trading Channel. In today's video guys, I'll share everything that you need to know about the launch of BTTC Mainnet and BTT Redomination Plan. If you're holding BitTorrent or you're looking to buy BitTorrent, make sure you watch the video till the end. I'll share with you the fundamental analysis for BTT and then guys i'll share with you my price prediction and share with you a trade setup at the end of the video where i'm looking to buy BitTorrent myself so without further ado let's get into the video so i made a video yesterday talking about the BitTorrent price this video is going to dive more into the fundamentals so BitTorrent mainnet launch is happening on 12th of december according to the developer community and the swap's going to happen between jan uh, before January the 12th so from December the 12th to January the 12th that's when the swaps going to happen the market cap will remain the same but the old BTT tokens will be redominated and swapped with new BTT tokens on a ratio of 1 to 1000 so that's the key point the value of your investment on BTT will stay the same but the, the, the amount of tokens you hold will go up so the price will go down uh, to match that so if you let's say hold 10 BTT tokens you'll hold 10,000 BTT tokens the supply will be increased from not uh, correct me if I'm wrong 99 billion uh, 1900 billion to 1900 trillion um, that's how the supply is going up it doesn't mean the value of your tokens the value of your investment is going up it's just the value of your tokens will go up the price will be adjusted to make sure the value of your investment is the same that your value of your investment is not going up or going down if you've been part of previous you know mainnet launches and swaps I'm sure you are aware of it so why they're doing it and um, the reason that they gave I'll, I'll quickly read this out to you let me just read find this so the reason that they're given uh for 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 increasing this because that you could ask you know some of the benefits i'll touch on you know evm and interoperability about the main net which is great it, it will help ecosystem help the uh, bitron ecosystem but why are they increasing the supply the answer that they've given is that you know the integral part of the bitron ecosystem btt old has a total supply of 990 billion tokens with an average of 11,000 tokens per active user and an average of less than 500 tokens per client so they think you know this is not enough and they the amount of users potentially going up they need to increase the supply so more clients have more tokens and that's the reason that they give i don't know if what i my thoughts are on this i don't think it was super necessary but again make up your own mind i'm sharing with you my thoughts i don't think it was super necessary some of the use cases for this BitTorn, you can you know become a validator in the BTTC network, uh, staking on the BT BTTC to gain rewards, participating of the, uh, in the governance of the BTTC community, there will be proof of stake, uh, and paying gas fees as a native token of the BTTC. Another really important point is the swap. So I've not had confirmation that if you hold BTT on a centralized exchange, if they will be uh, participating so like Binance or KuCoin I've looked on Reddit I've looked on Google everywhere I've messaged them on Twitter trying to find out what they're, if they're actually supporting it if I do find out I'll tweet I'll make another YouTube video on the 12th of December or, or the day before to let you guys know I've not found the information yet and that is really important because a lot of you in my previous video asked me whether Binance will be supporting it unfortunately I've not found an update yet if I have to give you my opinion, I think they will. Previously, when this type of mainnet launches and swaps happen, happened, Binance usually uh, took part in it. So I would think that they would. But again, if you're holding any you're holding any any BTT, you want to know. And if if they don't uh, participate in it, you might have to do it manually. And I'll read it slightly how to do it. But again, I might make a detailed video if you want me to. But if you read this article, it talks step by step how to do it. If you are holding BTT on a centralized exchange and your centralized exchange don't have an official confirmation that they are taking part in it, please move your BTT manually. So otherwise, you know, you don't want to be holding BTT old. You want to exchange it for the new BTT, uh, BTT token. So let me read this bit out to you. So again, if, if they don't do it manually, so if centralized exchanges don't take part on the auto swap, then you might have to do it manually. And you need to follow this step by step. You know, you have to go to the BTTC app, the website, click on get BTT, then enter the amount, uh, sign and approve. It's fairly simple. I'm sure you can use Tron Link wallet and, and do this step by step. And you sort of swap it for the new BTT token. It's fairly easy to do, but it's just a manual task you'll have to do. Also, if you're holding on some 
wallets like trust wallet or other wallets you, you'll have to see if they're taking part in it as well if not you'll have to follow this step so this is the most important part of the video please if you are holding any decent amount of btt you need to be doing this so uh, the, some of the benefits of this, let me read. So this is the important part. So BTTC is an EVM compatible interoperability protocol that is based on Tron. So EVM compatibility is huge. You know, we, EVM, I think, is still the leading. You know, when you, if you come to cryptocurrency, DeFi use cases, Ethereum is the leader. And BTTC being compatible with it is huge. And not only that, it's going to be uh, it, it, the transfer of assets between Tron, Ethereum, and BSC networks. So these are, that's the main benefit of this and you know justin sun can deliver his promise on adoption and growing a uh, bitron ecosystem this is a step in the right direction for me it will also work with proof of stake consensus mechanism confirmed by various su super representative who've deployed a required number of tokens if you're holding a huge amount of tokens you could potentially take part in it and like i've said the swap will see trc uh, transfer from trc 10 token to trc 20 token that's what we're going to see happen. So that's the update, guys. Uh, there's lots of news about it. We're seeing high prices already pumped. Uh, again, as talked about the coin swap, the ratio 1 to 1,000. So if you're holding 1,000, you'll be getting 10,000 tokens. It's swapping to uh, TRC20 tokens. I do want to read this after the mainnet launch goes live. BTT old and BTT will coexist for some time. The contracts to swap the old for the new tokens will be effective permanently and users can swap at any time. Exchanges do not currently support the redomination, can support the exchange uh, of, of, of uh, support the exchange of BTT old. While the new BTT tokens will be new uti utility token for the BitTorrent network, the protocol stated that BTT old tokens will retain their use case. So that is a really important uh, thing to be aware of as well. So that's the update. Fundamentally, that's what's happening to your tokens. And, and this is, uh, I'll talk about use cases and Justin Sun needs to deliver on his word now, but this is a good progress from the project. So let's talk about the price now. BTT, I made the prediction that I want BTT to break up above that red zone. We did not break out and it was at resistance. This was by the dip opportunity. If you watched our previous videos, you know, the YouTube guys, I share with you exactly which coins we're looking to buy, sell, all that good stuff. In the Rockstar Trading Group, I can post entries, our targets. Solana, I think we got in at 20. It's above 200 now. You can check the uh, videos out. But BTT, this was our buy zone. It had a nice bounce. I'm not sure where it goes now. I'm personally not in BTT. My trade setup is above five, is half a cent. If we start breaking above half a cent, I'll look to buy BTT. If it can't get back above there, guys, I don't think I'll take it. I, I wanted the rally. or I wanted it already broken out. Usually, we see buy the rumor, sell the news event. So, hopefully, BTT can break out above there. And if it breaks out above there, I'll look to trade this towards you know one cent level that could be a target uh, if it starts breaking out above here but it, it's got a lot to do uh, there might be a potential pullback trade setup here if it you know starts giving you bullish price action at 0 0.003 level give you a couple of green candles trend change yeah i'm happy to buy that with initial stop loss below there but if it starts breaking below 22 i would exit that's a short time frame trade setup if you're looking to buy it but i'm guessing if you're a btt holder you believe in bitcoin long term you want to be buying it above that if it doesn't get there i'm not going to look for new trades if you are holding btt and it starts breaking below these this red zone i will be concerned and i don't think i'll be holding or at least reduce some exposure if it is meant to be bullish it really needs to hold this level if, if you remember our trades in february type in oh if you go back to february time you'll see the bitcoin trades we took live uh, on, on on youtube we took this breakout and i sold most of it around one cent and i'm looking to get back in so those are the two key zones if you're holding and if you're looking to play this trade my buy the rumor sell the news event ideally would have already broken out i would have been in and i'd be looking to sell uh, near the news that would have been my trade plan it's not going to plan i've not lost money but i've also not taken that trade that's the video guys that's the fundamental news price wise the two key levels to watch is this red zone below so not 0 0.002 and not 0 0.005 breakout above there i'm bullish as long as it's holding above there i'm not i'm, I'm not bullish or bearish 
but if it breaks below i will be bearish if not it is just consolidating so thank you very much guys i will try to let you know if i find out about uh, binance or kucoin taking part if if i if they don't take part please make sure you do it manually i've shared with you how to do that so thank you very much guys smash that like button subscribe to the channel comment below your price prediction for bittorrent and i will be making another bittorrent so make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel so thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys soon with another great video go bittorrent